Um, my, my decision came down to just my dream. I mean, I'm one step closer to my dream. I just thought it was my time. Um, just talking to my brothers. Just talking to one of my brothers, Benet, Nephi. I mean, they're at the league right now. And just talking to them, they just helped me reassure my decision. So you got a lot of Detroit media here. What, what did Panay tell you about the decision? What, what sort of influence has he been on you in this whole journey? Um, he said if I was prepared to to, to declare, to declare. But if you if you feel like you're not, then you should go back another year. And I just felt like I was ready to go. What are some of the things that you bring to an NFL franchise and have to My work ethic. No matter what, I will always work for you, day in day out. Maybe you put it in overtime hours. Just know that you're getting a hard worker. A little bit, yeah. Right now, I'm at 250. No, the, the linebackers seem to be coming out smaller and smaller and smaller. You're, you're bucking that trend. So have you seen the teams like that because maybe you're a little bit more unique than, than some of the linebackers that have been coming out in your Um, Yeah, they, they do question my weight a little bit. I am on the heavier side of the scale, but I'd like to kind of stay away from those those typical linebackers. I like to be unique with my weight. I, I can move around. I'm dynamic. I'm athletic. And I think I bring a lot to the table with my weight. What would you say are your biggest strengths and what areas you want to improve on next year? Um, one of my strengths is my IQ. I'm able to pick up a scheme real quick and then just go out there and just perform. And then I think I can work, always work on my hands and my feet. You can always get better at that and always improve on that. Obviously, production dropped off this year. I know the defense changed, but the team task is looking for the production fall off so much. I was, I was trying to do too much. I mean, I felt like I was the only one out there, but in reality, I had teammates with me, and I was just putting too much on my shoulders. How, how perfect were you doing? I mean, I heard all year that you really weren't practicing. How, uh, how not really that much. I mean, they just try to save my body so I can just be able to play the games. What was Penny's biggest piece of advice from this week? This week, it's just uh, keep your head down and still grind. I mean, don't listen too much about the outside noise. Just keep your head down and grind. Well, you played against Georgia in the opener. What was the most impressive thing about that one? Uh, it's just how they get to the perimeter fast. I mean, it was just one look here, and they're already over there. It was just a quick turnaround for us. If you could pinpoint one play from your college career that you can point to, you know, to coaches and scouts and say, that play defines me, you have to play uniform. No, I don't have one in particular. I think I have a couple. Um, I met with six, I think, I believe Monday night. Um, I'm here with the, the Chiefs, the uh, Raiders. I can't remember, to be honest. It was all hectic that night. Uh, it went good. I thought it went good. Hopefully, they, they viewed it as that. Do you remember if the Steelers were one of those teams? That? Do you remember if the Steelers were one of those teams? Uh, I meet with them today. Today? What are your thoughts on Mike Tom? Uh, I'm excited. I feel like they need a backer, and I think I can bring a lot to their team and just help them out and win games.